Hi there, so welcome back to the last tutorial of this moving ball with hands on station now, but also last tutorial of the whole training. So this one is related to really body motion, okay? So pretty much this is what we're going to do. So we have this body and see that it's falling and then it's responding, not the motion is responding, not the interaction, not the of the forces, external forces. So you can track the position of center of gravity and so on. And this is the same now here, the mesh deformation is like in the previous tutorial that you propagate that deformation in the, in the domain. So let's see what happens here, okay? So again, you set up everything in constant dynamic mesh, okay? So see that you access your libraries, but now we have a new solver. Is six DOF ready body motion? Okay, so you access this new motion solver, and here you have the specific entries for this solver. So these have many entries, as you can imagine. You you have this uh, specific note to the solver. So here in patches, you select the wall that you want to move. Okay, so you select the wall. Okay, you put that wall into motion, which by the way. It, for this solver, this library, there are a couple of libraries. So for this library that we are using, it is only one body. These distances are related to the mesh deformation limit. Okay, so here you have some comments. So basically here you are just fixing this this distance to, to be constant, you know, the, the mesh constant here. If you put very large values, it's kind of di disabling this. So how this works requires some, some experience. So, but look at here basically see that there is a region around the body that is not deforming. So basically that is what you are doing. So sometimes it might be hel helpful, sometimes it's not helpful. Uh, then you have position of the center of mass. You need to know that the, the, the starting position, the mass of the body and the inertia, okay? You have your body doing all these properties. Report on it would show you a lot of information on the screen, no? like position, CG, linear velocity. We're going to run a few times that we're going to see that. This is a relaxation now for the solver because here you are solving a, the ODE for the motion of the body. So this is how you relax that. So this value is bounded between zero and one. Okay, so usually I recommend you to use values around zero seven, zero eight, okay? but do not put values too low because we'll have it, the, the same effect as you, you saw with the under relaxation factor for the solvers that you are going to lose time accuracy, okay? So be careful that probably zero 07, it is in the limit. You can use different solvers for the equation of motion. So in this case, we're using this, but there are like three or four options. And then you can add constraints and restraints. So basically this is to say that the body will move only around this axis, or you can add some, some restraints like spring, damp, systems, stuff like that. So here, if you put this, you are telling that the body will only move around this axis and it will rotate around this axis. You don't put anything, it's six degrees of freedom. So the actual tutorial that we're going to run, we don't have any options here. And then you go into zero point displacement. Okay, so we use this file and here, like in the prescribed motion, okay, you put the body that is moving, okay, the rigid body, it is calculated because because it's computed from the solver of the motion of the body. So you put it here, calculated, and remember, moving wall in in U. Okay, all the walls that are moving. In this case, it's just one patch moving wall, and that's all. That is your setup. Okay, it's relatively easy. Okay, and this is compatible. Okay, with all the solvers that I accept these dynamic measures. Okay, so here you have some final comments. So see that here we're going to use it with interphone using. Uh, using free surface, okay? And also you can enable turbulence models and so on, okay? So as you go here, read body motion, you have two cases, we're interested in this one, falling object. Okay, and actually here we have the turbulence model enabled, so you have everything enabled. So important since that gravity is an important factor, so you need to enable gravity. So let me open all dictionaries here. So see that dynamic mesh, how we explain, so here we didn't put anything, so it's a fully six degrees of freedom. Gravity, it is important in our case, so we enable momentum transport, we're using this turbulence model, and then transport properties for the setup of the multi-phase. So see that here now we're combining everything, and as you want, you can add compressibility effects as usual as we have studied. So the open boundary conditions, see that 
this is the one that is related to reading body motion. So the walls that are moving in this case is this specific patch. It is calculated and for you, okay, it is moving velocity. When it comes to boundary conditions for k omega nu, the turbulence model is the standard setup as we have seen, okay, nothing new. And also for alpha, a standard setup. So as you see, it's not that tricky. So the final step will be just go here in system and let's take a look at the different dictionaries, okay? So control D is very standard, okay? And you can have access to these auctions, your traditional function objects. SB skin, so we go fully on a steady. So you can also look for pseudo transient solutions. Okay, it's valid. But let's say proper, in reality, this is fully on a steady, so it's both better to use you now the global time step. But standard numerics and SB solution. Again, remember we talk about these options here and so on. So here you go also, you need to define, <coughs> okay, all your turbulence quantities okay the solvers and pimple auctions and probably you're going to see this new auction here so this one is related now to move as you see now you have this correct or something similar to the <coughs> these two auctions now are similar to what you see with these correctors okay so here we're enabling which by the way always go to the, you can go to your source code and you let me go grab and you can find this auction. So see that in this case, let me go SRC, OF9, SRC, and see that in this file, you have those defined. Okay, so, cat, and see that there are very specific no options for the dynamic solvers. And see that you have this Correct fee, check quorum number, see that the default is false, okay, it's disabled, and in this case I enable this one, it will give you, because now the body is moving, okay, so there is another current number related to the mesh motion, so if you want to enable that, just put it in your dictionary, and so on. And the rest is pretty much standard, okay. So let me close here, and let's launch this case, okay, so if I go here, run, move dynamic mesh by the way you can uh, okay this was the prescribed motion you, you or yes you can use move dynamic meshes with this read body motion but remember that read body motion or the body is responding to external forces so if you are not computing that those forces you are not going to put the body the body into motion okay but yeah you you can use it but you need those forces so this is the one that we want to run and let me press, now let me select run solver. Okay, it's doing the meshing, a standard mesh. And in our boundary conditions that SV dynamics meshes, we select now what is the patch that is going to move. So see that now it's starting here. You have your solutions and everything in a starting position. And see that as it's running, while it's running, see that it's reporting here. 6 DOF, read the body motion, center of rotation, the position, okay, center of mass, pretty much the same, orientation, linear velocity, and angular velocity. And this is always relay, uh, reported while the simulation is running. So here it's very important to save the log file, okay? You need to save the log file because later you can extract this information and post-process. Okay, so, so you let it run in, you have the, 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 the log file, see that here, you have this script here. So this script will extract that information from that log file, okay? So you have some comments here and read, read, read me first how to use it, okay? But you always need to save this log file, okay? So this is specific library that we are using. There is no function object to, to extract that automatically. You need to get it like this. There is another library that it will have a function object and you will save that, that, that information somewhere. But there is no problem, okay? You get it like this. So let, let's run this command, okay? Let me open a new window. So see that it's simple like this. And what it will do is will extract, see that now you have 
time versus angular velocity, time versus center of mass. So you have all this information, linear velocity, and that's all. Okay, so at this point you can plot it uh, using new plot. So you have there are new plot basic commands. So let me go here. You open new plot, and you can go like this. So center of gravity, and you will plot like this. So you let it run a long time, and you are going to get the the behavior like in this slide. So as you go here. This was extracted like this, okay, all this information. And also to do the post-processing, the standard one, okay? It remembers free surface, alpha 0 0.5, and then press play and you see the movie, okay? So to get that animation now, you need to let it run for a long time. So this shouldn't be that time consuming, but I'm running some other pro processes, so I'm not going to wait, but just to show you that you go now, Parafont, Okay, let me go Parafon build end. So we're in parallel. Okay, I want the decompose case. We have this. Let me put a cut plane there. Okay, let me rotate, set it like this, and the mesh. So see that where this is the starting position okay there is the water source free surface somewhere just to see so you let it fall and and let me da, 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 da. okay and see what happened you go and see that the mesh is deforming okay So at this point so far, we I have saved only one, one time step, okay? So it's, it's a long way. It will run, I think, two seconds, okay? But this is the idea of really body motion. So now the body is responding to the forces acting or exerting over that body. So I think, okay, this is all for this case, okay? So we have covered a lot, okay? This is the absolute final tutorial. So at this point we're done, okay, so you have questions on, on this. I want to point out that things can can get more complicated. Some people might be interested in multiple bodies and stuff like that. Those are additional libraries, okay? But remember, after all, this is an introductory training, so we're giving you all the starting, no? <clears throat> all the starting concepts to do. From this point, you, you can do your own or explore more advanced uh, options and topics. Okay, so thank you very much for your attention and see you next time. Bye.